Hi everyone and welcome back to the vlog. As you can see, I'm actually in Kiln's room because I look so tired. It's early, I'll explain. And she has these lights which will make me look a little bit better. But it's time to leave Kerry. It's our last morning. We're just about to head to Dublin. So I have all my bags packed and everything's ready to go. We're flying back to New York tomorrow morning from Dublin. And the reason we're going from Dublin this time is because tonight I'm going there to go on the Ray Darcy show, which is live TV, <laughs> a live interview at quarter to 10 tonight, 9.45. I think I'm on around 10 o'clock. Um, so yeah, we're going up there for the day. I have a few bits to do, gonna get my hair and makeup done. Um, I have a pair of shoes that I probably will wear, but I think I might just have one quick look and run home just in case I see anything that I prefer and then go to the hotel, get ready. They're gonna pick us up, bring us to the studio and do live TV. So not gonna lie, tiny bit nervous but also very excited it's definitely a great way to dive into the new year and yeah it should be good and just in case you're not from Ireland basically the Ray Darcy show is like an interview style show where they bring on different personalities and people and it's on a channel called RT1 which is like the most popular channel in Ireland and um, the one that kind of everybody watches and the one that gets the most viewership. There's going to be a lot of people watching but it should be fine and um, we're going to collect Tommy now on the way he's coming tonight. They're going to be in the audience, my parents and then yeah we fly back tomorrow morning. So I'm going to try and vlog as much as today as I can, the getting ready process. I hope we get Tommy to film some of the interview thing tonight and like backstage and all that and yeah we'll take it from there. So first stop before our drive to Dublin. <laughs> to our hotel and um, we're staying in the Radisson it's out by the RTE studio it's actually really nice I've never been here before hello Tommy straight for the food there for the plane tomorrow of course he's eating the food we collected him and drove off I still look sleepy but we're gonna go into town now and um, do a few bits we have to do get my hair and makeup done so soon I will look good <laughs> Justin getting our hair and makeup done. Mom's over here, I'm here. <laughs> Obviously I look a bit crazy, but I'm gonna leave the pins off until later on because the show's not till like, what time, like half nine or 10 and it's only five now. So I don't want it to fall. So I'm gonna have to walk around like this. And then next up is my makeup and mom's gonna head away. Are you excited, mom? Yeah, I'm always excited, I guess. <laughs> I think mom, mom's getting asked a question in the audience as well tonight, so <laughs> she's getting glammed. <laughs> Back to the hotel again. This is the current situation. I have clothes on. I just put on the dressing gown. I was freezing. My hair, we did like a bouncy blow dry, so we kept it pinned up because like I still have a couple of hours to go um, before the show. So I'll take these out when I'm getting dressed. Tommy's here. Are you having fun, Tommy? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and I got my makeup done. I actually don't think I showed you any of that because I was trying to keep still. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. It will look, you'll see it better now when my hair is down and um, you know, I have my clothes on and everything. But yeah, it's so nice. She did like some lashes, kind of like a brownie gold eye because that will suit what I'm wearing and all my usual stuff. And I probably will top up my lip. We just ordered room service. We're gonna eat that and then get dressed. I'm gonna be ready to go. Are you excited? <laughs> I forgot to vlog this part. I am. A bit nervous though, but... What are you nervous about? Falling on the way out. And then, I don't know, just like not being able to like say what I want to say or something. Will you wave to me in the audience? <laughs> yeah. Will you wave to me? I will. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay. I hope that by the time I'm editing this and I'm watch and I'm editing this to get into the video that I'll be like, oh, you've nothing to worry about. I hope that's what's gonna happen. And if it's a disaster, you'll never see this video because <laughs> I'm fucking live. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna eat these and then I'm gonna practice a bit more talking with Tommy and then put my dress on. <laughs> Hey, hair and makeup.
makeup done i am so happy with how it turned out look at these beautiful waves i just asked for like a bouncy blow dry that would last so she pinned it up for me and then i just took it down i think i'll put one behind my ear just to show the earrings and then the dress and then i love the makeup she put on some lashes for me and then the eyes really suit the color of what i'm wearing so ooh, all set and look who it is Switch. Woo. Tell us what you're wearing. I'm wearing pants and a top and a beautiful necklace that was custom made by my friend Diane. Oh, from Jasmine Boutique. The Jasmine well. Boutique in Chile. So nice. She asked me if she could make it for me and I was delighted to accept it. Fab. Nice. Are you excited for your I'm always TV excited debut? <laughs> oh my god, we actually look so sparkly together. It kind of goes though. Why not? Okay, we're gonna go downstairs now, take some photos. Actually, yeah, Tommy took a little picture of the dress, or the video of the dress, but hopefully you can see it. It's so nice. I just love the shoulder, the high shoulders so here. Beautiful. And I love that color. It's so beautiful. Whew, okay, I actually feel pretty calm. I say that now, we'll see on the way. Okay, right, let's go downstairs. <laughs> on which is very exciting we're here at the Ray Darcy show Tommy's still with me but he's gonna go to the audience now I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to vlog though like I'll give you the camera just in case but I don't think so no, here goes <laughs> Yeah. Well, our next guest is a rising star in that world. She's originally from Glen Bay in County Kerry, and she's home from New York for the Christmas. Will you please welcome Retro Flame, also known as Erica Fox. <laughs> Christmas? It was great, lovely and relaxing. It's always great to be home in Kerry for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, so you you influence people in the States and you influence people here. What exactly do you do? Yeah, the question I get a lot. Yeah. It's definitely an industry that's new, so it's a bit kind of foreign to some people, but basically to break it down, what I do is I have my own fashion and lifestyle website and YouTube channel, and I work with different brands both in Ireland, UK, in the US to help promote their products basically. Okay. So, for example, if a fashion brand gets in touch with me to promote a dress, say, I talk to them and we kind of negotiate and sometimes it's a good fit, sometimes it's not, and I I definitely say no a lot as well rather than always yes and then we'll work together and we'll you know chat through different ideas for shoots and how I can help them to promote their brand so it's a benefit. So it's like a mini ad is it? Basically, yeah, it's it's advertising. It's like modern day advertising, but the difference is is that you know I'm not. I wasn't some. I wasn't a celebrity before I started. Yes. I wasn't an actress. I wasn't a movie star. I was just a normal, you know, a normal girl from Kerry. And I think that's what's relatable, and that's what people love to see. Because if they if you follow me, and hopefully lots of my followers are watching tonight, they can really trust me. And when I tell them I like something, or when I review a product, or if I'm wearing a dress, and I show them how to style it, they can really be you know. Sure that yes. I'm telling them the truth and it's very honest authentic and you have nearly 150,000 followers I do yeah. I have 130,000 on Instagram and then I have almost 70,000 on YouTube now which is great it's crazy can't believe it so, so they are interested in what you wear how you live your life and they take advice from you in a way yeah, that's basically it. So I document my life and it sounds a bit crazy and I think when I started doing it, my family and my friends and everyone was like, what is she doing? Why Why is she taking pictures of herself and putting them on an Instagram account or her website? But I could see the vision. You know, I, I spent summers in New York and I interned over there and I could really see where the industry was going right. and people just love to to see how other people do things and mm. it kind of helps to inspire them and tips and tricks. Uh, but I, I was looking at some of your, your posts uh, and some of the, the pictures and it, it looks like you live your life like a, a magazine photo shoot. 
that's probably what it looks like. Yes, that must be <laughs> trying. Is it? That's tough on you. Isn't you it? know what it is. Um, I always say Instagram is like my shop front. So when you come onto my Instagram, that gives you an idea of what I am and what I'm about and who I am. But you know, behind the scene, behind the scenes is really where you get to see everything else, and so much more goes on. And that's why I recently started a YouTube channel. So I've been doing YouTube for two years, and that's really where you see what else happens and you know the glamorous pictures are one thing but so much work goes into them and obviously that's just five minutes of the yeah. day where we're shooting a picture and, and your followers know everything about your life they know the inside of your your apartment in new york they do do they know much about your boyfriend tommy <laughs> they're getting to know him a bit more i think yeah, yeah how, I can see how long are you going out um we're going out a long time. We went to school together, actually. We were in the same class. Oh, your Kerry. childhood sweethearts. Childhood sweethearts, That's yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Harry, Tommy, you feel really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So does he take some of the pictures? He does, yeah. My sister actually works with me full time, Kaylin. Yeah. So she works with me Monday to Friday. We do proper office hours. We start at half eight in the morning and we work till six or seven usually every day. But then she gets a break from me at the weekends, <laughs> even though we only live two streets apart in New York. But I get Tommy to help me at the weekends with some photos here or there. Not yeah. much anymore. Uh, I'm wondering, just your followers, so you advise them to wear something, but you've been paid to advise them to do that. How is that relationship? Totally, yeah. So Is that thing, awkward sometimes? You know, sometimes. But what I will say is that, personally, my content, I only about 20% of it is sponsored. So the other 80% is me just pushing out content, like yeah. I used to always do back in the day, you know, free content just to help them and wear brands that I've been wearing forever and brands that aren't, you know, paid for. I'm buying them myself. And I think then they understand the ad part of it then because it's almost like watching a TV show it's like you know you put up with the ads in the middle to watch the show yeah. you know that kind of way and I think they're so supportive of that okay. and right. the ones that have stuck with me they they um, trust me uh, speaking yeah. of influencers is she a big influence on, on you? she is yeah she really is I think as long as I can remember we were shopping for either fashion or interiors one right. of them how are you Helena? I'm good really, thank <laughs> good. you good to see you thank thanks you. for coming up in Glen Bay thank you I believe she's been raiding your wardrobe she does occasionally yeah she <laughs> frequents it. Um, recently she uh, judged uh, the best dressed at Rose of Tralee fashion show in Kerry and uh, last minute Erica said to me, Mom, I have nothing to wear tonight, you know, out of all the clothes she has. Yeah. And I said, you know, maybe I have something in my wardrobe. So she went and she found a dress that I wore 10 years ago. <laughs> so I wore it at my niece, Kleena and Tom. They got married in July 10 years ago and I wore it then. So she wore it in August of this year gone by. And that, was, like. that was you, Erica. This is you, Helena, now from 10 years oh. ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it looks well on both of you. It looks well on both of you. Speaking of both, your, your both daughters are away in New York. How, yeah. how do you feel about that? Yeah, I'm delighted. Uh, of course I miss them, Maria. You know, I'd love to have them around and our house is very quiet. But um, I'm really happy for them that they're in New York. They're both very business driven and they're seeking out all the opportunities and what better place to present them other than New York. So yeah. I'm delighted for them. They're doing great. Yeah. You look fantastic, by the way. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Helena. Thanks. And that was your dad, Tyg, as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what's the dream then? Erica. The dream, um, a new year again, I can't believe it. Basically just to, you know, keep doing what I'm doing, keep growing, keep expanding. When I go back now in tomorrow, actually we go back, I'm actually starting interviews for another employee to come onto the team, which is really exciting. So hopefully we'll keep expanding and just see where it takes me. Keep influencing. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, it was a real pleasure having you on the show. Happy New Year. I hope 2019 is good for you. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Erica Fox. And that's it. We're back in the hotel room. Oh my god, it went so well, thankfully. I was really, really nervous all day. And then whatever just happened to me, when we were leaving the hotel, I felt grand and got in there and talked to my phone. It's literally going 90. And we're packing for tomorrow because we leave in like four hours. Um, but as soon as I got in there, I was calm. I was talking to everyone backstage. And oh, I'm just really happy how it went. And Tommy had his debut. How'd you get on, Tommy? Oh, so good. <laughs> he was great. They showed the garment on him for ages. 
and my mom was chatting and she did so well and oh I couldn't be happier with how it went and so many of you tuned in I've been getting messages all evening on my Insta stories my DMs my WhatsApp Twitter everything and I couldn't be more appreciative and hopefully now I'll have found a clip that I can put in before this chat so hopefully you'll already have seen a bit of the interview anyway and you can see what happened it was very just straightforward just a chat about um how it started for me and my plans for the future and just kind of the ins and outs of it and it was really interesting and ray was lovely so we did it we did it tommy we sure did <laughs> we survived um i oh honestly i will say i think a reason that i was calm as well is because i was so happy with the hair and the makeup and when you've all those things sorted and the dress and everything when you just have all that done and everything is on you you can kind of be like okay i can breathe now and that definitely was great and the biggest thank you to paula callan who did my makeup and then it was callan and co her business where i got my hair done and a lovely girl called claire did my hair in there and so nice it lasted really well i kind of had it like this and then i put one ear back and then these earrings my mom is literally the queen she so i got this dress on thursday today's saturday um my mom had got her outfit from a boutique in Tralee called jasmine and she had been planning this now for months my mom is so organized as soon as i told her i was going on the show she was on it like she's very good opposite of me and she went in and she had her outfit and everything and they're making her a custom necklace which was beautiful and she went in to pick it up and i said i'd go with her it was thursday and i had a kind of a cream pants option that I could have wore with maybe a top so I wasn't like stock stock but I figured look I'll go in let's see if they have anything just in case I know Diane in the boutique from fashion shows like back in the day the owner and I went in and I just spotted this dress like on the rack and it was only one left it was in a size eight and I was like oh my gosh this is beautiful so I tried it on and it was a tiny bit big in certain places and this was actually very low so I stitched this and the slit on the dress was much higher up and I stitched that down lower because it's tv and I didn't want to be flashing anyone so I had to get that sorted and they altered it for me that day and the owner Diane drove out to Chloroglin a town near where I live and dropped the dress and mom's um, outfit as well because she was altering her trousers like drove all the way out and dropped it to us I was so appreciative because I was last minute as usual what's new with me um, so so happy with that and then I went home and I was like mom okay I need earrings I don't have anything and of course she had the perfect pair they're like basically the same color as the dress I just don't know she has everything I need to, I need her to live with me in New York like anything I ask her for she has it or she knows where we can get it and it was definitely thanks to her that I found this dress as well so she's the best um, and they really enjoyed the night too my mom was there my dad and my granny from Westmead and she just loved it she told me that I made her life <laughs> She was so happy because she watches the show every Saturday night, so it was so nice for her to actually be on it. Um, and that's the update. We're mid packing. I just we had cold pizza that we had from earlier. We had some of that because um, I couldn't eat earlier. I was so nervous, I'm nervous, and I'm mad at myself now for being nervous because it was fine and it was totally fine when we got there. But I'm kind of glad that we had some pizza left when we got home. So I had that. We're gonna finish up packing now and try and get like what an hour sleep, Tommy? Two hours? Two hours sleep. Yeah. Two hours sleep. Two hours sleep before we get a taxi at 5 a.m. to the airport and then back to New York we go. So I'm gonna pack up now and then I'll probably check in once more before I finish.